polls opened early on Wednesday to choose Sri Lanka as members of parliament. But the coronavirus pandemic made the National Election Commission's job extremely difficult. The first time we are employing health officials for the election work. Each and every polling booth we have employed at least PHM, that means public health amid drives. And this is the uh, more than 15,000 health sector employees are working with us. Deshapriya says it was important to ensure the health of tens of thousands of state workers, police, military and 16 million voters. The election was postponed twice because of health concerns. Observers say Wednesday's vote was one of the most peaceful in recent years, and that's an achievement. The preference voting system usually causes much rivalry between candidates from the same party. But new restrictions on campaigning minimize confrontation. Election day proceedings are okay, but uh, there were some unresolved pending issues related to uh, pre-election campaign. Uh, du uh, during the pre-election campaign, we witnessed that actually uh, they were unable to uh, create a level playing field because uh, most of uh, candidates, were very few candidates were able to spend millions of rupees. The head of the election commission agrees. Definitely we need campaign finance and expenditure limits, rules for that. Without that, we can't do that. And other thing, we have to some laws to not the control the media, to some sort of the regulate. It is with the way we can use educate and ask them to uh, work according to the media guidelines. A number of complaints were made about biased media coverage during the election. Al Jazeera asked voters in Colombo what mattered when making their choice. We had to vote wisely to select a good. Uh, uh, person who is uh, free from corrupt, corruption and all kinds of underhand things. It is quite important because we will be sending 225 people to the parliament and they will be governing this country for five more years. Good leaders decide the future of the country. Those with brains will choose good candidates, the others won't. We as Muslims, we have a lot of problems because uh, they are telling that we can't cover the head, that these and all the problems. So we have to come and vote. The Sri Lanka People's Party, led by the Rajapaksa brothers, who serve as president and prime minister, is expected to win a majority in parliament. If that happens, the party will be in a strong position to change the constitution and revoke some of the reforms passed by the previous government limiting the powers of the presidency. A weak opposition is not expected to pose much of a challenge. The results of Sri Lanka's twice-delayed elections are expected to be released late on Thursday. Whoever wins a majority of seats in parliament, they're expected to face the challenges of improving the economy and tackling the coronavirus pandemic. Minel Fernandez, Al Jazeera, Colombo.